Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will understand the generated files after build of data transfer library. Here we have package.json inside which we have the name of the library that is data transfer. It is similar to what we have inside this data transfer original folder. If I open this package.json, it is the same data transfer and the version of the package starts from 0.0.1 same we have inside this package.json that is 0.0.1 and we have peer dependencies dependencies and other required file paths with that if we open lib folder then we'll see that three files have been exported that is component file module file and service file but we have created the method in the service file not in the module or component so we do not require these two files to be uploaded over npm artifact tree for that what we can do we can go to the source folder and then public api.ts file here we can just remove component file and model file as we are not going to use those i'll save the file and build the project again to build the project i'll type ng build and then the project name that is data transfer i'll press enter and it will create the updated files inside the dist folder if I open this and open the leaf folder, I can see only service has been exported from the data transfer library. As we can see in the public api.ts file that we have exported only service file. Now we'll upload this data transfer folder over npm artifact tree in our next video. So let's meet in the next video. Till that be happy. Take care. Signing off.